breakfast is supposed to be the most important meal of the day. And if you ride in the mornings, you're probably not going to argue with this. So what is the perfect pre-ride breakfast? Well, there are no hard and fast rules, but here is our GCN Power Breakfast. Now it's based around porridge or oatmeal, which is a bit of an industry standard in cycling. Basically, oats are just a fantastic source of slow-release carbohydrates, but they've also got great stuff in, like a good chunk of protein and also some good quality fats as well. So, let's make our oatmeal. Okay, so I'm working on about half a cup of oats per person. I'm using thick cut oats, so they take a little bit longer to cook, so if you're in a rush, you might want to consider using uh, quick ones. But uh, I think these are better for flavour, better for texture, and also, if you're going to be after slow release carbohydrates, then having something that's going to take a bit longer to digest is only going to help. So, half cup of oats. Now, with porridge, you generally factor in about double the volume of liquid to oats. Now, exactly what liquid you put in is entirely up to you. My favourite is half a cup of milk and then topped up with water as well. So, you get a cup of water or a cup of liquid for half a cup of oats. However, if you want less lactase, however, you can have all water or, or soy milk or almond milk or uh, what other milks can you get? Rice milk. If, however, you can tolerate lactose quite happily, then it's a good idea to have all milk because milk is a fantastic source of really, really high quality protein. So if you can get a mug of milk in, then that's a fantastic start to your day. So you need to have it over a low heat. Really important to have it over low heat if you're using milk because obviously milk firstly boils over and secondly uh, burns really badly. So you need to take a bit of time over this, so just let it simmer away. Now, obviously that's just porridge. For this to be a GCN power breakfast, we need to add some stuff. So sultanas, they're really good at sweetening the porridge. So if you add them first, they'll cook into the mixture and sort of sweeten the whole thing. Because ideally what we want is to avoid adding refined sugars at the end. So this porridge is gonna be hopefully sweet enough for us to actually just eat it without anything else. So, sultanas go in. Right, next, you're gonna chop a banana up. So this is the same principle as the sultanas. Now, if you don't actually like banana flavor, I wouldn't worry about it, because it cooks down and it kind of melts into the porridge. It gives a real mellow sweetness as opposed to actually banana flavor. Excellent. Banana goes in. Okay, now finally, <laughs> what are you doing over there? <laughs> okay, now finally, I also like to add like a pinch of salt. Now, some people are gonna find that absolutely disgusting, that's fair enough, but I really think it brings out the flavor of the oats. And I actually don't really like porridge without it, but for health grounds, or if you think it's disgusting, then feel free to leave it out, completely optional. So now we can crack on with other stuff. More important things like making coffee. Right, well we finally got it out. I say we because it's a couple of grown men with some proper muscles to help me. Okay, so that's looking like it's nearly ready now. Just have a check for the consistency. Obviously, it's entirely taste dependent if you like thick porridge or thin porridge, but now's the time to adjust it. So I'll just add a little bit more milk to this one, I think. Let's see that in super slow milk. All right, that's all good. Stick it in the bowl. Good to go. Just to finish things off, personal taste, a few uh, flaked almonds over the top. And then finally, have a taste, it could well be sweet enough, but if not, continuing on the old no refined sugars theme, a little bit of runny honey, good to go. Mmm, right now, I feel like going for a five hour ride. Before you go on your ride after breakfast, make sure you do the washing up so your missus doesn't throw a schizo when she gets out of bed. No, let's use it. Ready-made energy bars are fantastic fuel for cycling, but if you want to make your own, however, you could try this secret GCN recipe. Now, it's based around oats, which are fantastic fuel.